God. Amen. Our scripture tonight takes us into the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, of course, is known as the eagle eye prophet. He was able to see further down than most of the other prophets. In fact, Isaiah was the one who had saw and foretold of the birth of Jesus. He had foreseen and foretold that no bones or anything should have been broken on him, but that he would be just as whole as he went up to the cross. Our theme take us tonight to the section where God has placed a watchman on the wall. I've come tonight to find out what's the state of the watchman position. What is the watchman seeing tonight? And if he is seeing, and why is it that he is not seeing what he is supposed to see? A watchman simply is to look and to take care and to protect and to watch over his master's good or his boss or his owner's good. A watchman, the, the wall was designed in those days that it was so wide that two chariots of brass could arrive on the wall. That's why when the spies came in to Jericho, that the watchman saw them coming. But Rahab hid them for the Lord. When the watchman came to our house, they knew exactly where the spies was. But how many know that God will work his work because he will work his work? God will do exceedingly. God will do what you and I don't even think or imagine. Amen. Look at this harlot now. We, we will discount her. In fact, the citizens of that town counted her for nothing. Amen. Some of them, no doubt, used to not even speak to her Amen. because of her profession. Yes. But that's who God chose to yes. use. I'm talking to somebody tonight. Amen. Don't let nobody count you out. God is not finished with you yet. No. Come on, and this same woman was the only one who was alive when God finished in Jericho. Her and her family and whoever else she wanted to bring into her house. Come on, watch God. No matter if there was the worst of the worst, once they was in Rahab's house, they were safe under the scarlet train. Oh yeah, God gonna do something up in here tonight. But we 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 see this woman as 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 as, as she lived on the wall. Her house was on the wall. Watchman, watchman, the Bible says, what are hour of the night? But I've come tonight to to tell you that I, I I'm afraid to, to to admit it. But some of our watchmans have fallen asleep. Some of our watchmen, no, 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 no. I, I promised the Lord. I promised the Lord. One night I was driving in my car and God told me to stop. I stopped and he says, talk to these young men. He says, ask them about their soul. But because they lived through my corner, they knew me. And when I stopped, they say, What's happening, Mr. Finger? How is everything? And I say, everything all right. I say, you all all right? They say, yes, sir. But I didn't do what God told me to do. And as I pulled off, I look in my rear outside, the mirror on the outside of the van, and I saw the young man. And I don't know if you ever saw the shadow of death, but I saw the shadow of death around him. I didn't say anything. The next day, someone came into his yard and killed him. I got down on my knee. I ran in the bush. In the sports center or wherever I was when I got the news. And I asked the Lord to forgive me. Because I was not obedient to what he said I said. So I promise him, I don't care if it even ain't him and I ain't too sure. 
thousands and thousands of people walking around with this other uh, uh, chain on their ankle. Yeah. Yeah. Still committing crime. They find one dead the other day. Had his on his leg. And, and if that was so good, somebody should have known he was dead. When they called for him and he didn't answer, I would have sent the police right to the spot where it is. But that's the kind of time we live in. But God has called his church to be different. I don't know why the church is afraid to be different. I, I don't know why we all want to be the same. I, I don't know why we all want to be the same way. But God hasn't called us to be the same. And then he, and he is different from J.B. Sands. And J.B. Sands and X. Y. Tinker are two different people. But God calls for all of us to live holy. Now people has come to a time when we, 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 not, we don't care. The Bible says that there was a man called John who came in a funny way. Didn't eat the regular food. Oh, but John was mad. John went to the, to the king's house and tell him, listen here, brother. It's not good for you to have your brother's wife. Now today, some of us preachers know that the brother having the brother wife and we ain't saying nothing about it. We scared to open our mouth. Because if we open our mouth, then the king will cut our little rushing. But I tell him, I trust in a God who is able to do exceedingly a wonder thing. I can fly, I can die, I can, I can do whatever I got to do. God will take care of me. You don't have to be afraid. We're afraid. We, we scared to offend the king. We scared because we don't want we don't want them to know we say, but I don't care. Uh -huh. Tell them I say so. Because yes, if they don't repent, they all can likewise perish. Yeah. The Bible said they came to John, and John says, Who persuades you to come, you generation of whitewash? Bring, bring forth fruit to repentance. Yeah. When last have we heard a good repentance message? Yeah. No, no, we got this thing now. Oh, hold up your hand where you are. And yeah. Just say it. Yeah, yeah, you know, and we got to. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna fix you up. And that devil just come out of the street our house and they leave them there, they go back in the street. You understand, Pastor? I've come, I've come, I've come. I've come. I've come. I've come. I'm, I'm tired of the devil messing around with God people. The devil got our testimony so weak that we don't even we, we can't affect the people who we work with. Some of them only know we say it when they come to our church. Watchman, watchman, how can we hold our peace? Come on, nobody's talking ever, and, 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 and everybody just happy. And simply because it, it don't affect us, it don't come to our doorstep, we, we look at it. But there's an old saying, say they came and they took my neighbor and I didn't say that. And finally they came and they took me. And there was nobody to say nothing. You know why? Because you didn't say something when they came and they took your neighbor. Come on, some of us we know and we know that it's wrong. Come on, don't mind them. I, I had this boss one day and he came running through the back of the shop. And he says, Tinker, there's a man out there. If he come telling you he see me, I say, boss. The only thing he asks me no question, you are right. And I tell him before he going into hiding, and I tell him, I say, Chief, if he asks me, I got to say something. I say, long as he ain't say nothing to me, you wouldn't put shame. And I ain't, I ain't volunteering no information. I, I had to keep quiet. And he come through and he says, you see Mr. son Brista, I say, going right in the door there. Got it. Come out and say, boy, take you something else. I say, no, I can't lie for you. Yeah. If I lie for you, yeah. I can't preach to you. Right. And if I can't preach to you, you ain't gonna believe my witness. Right. Right. I went to an office in my shop, and when I step up there, the young lady says, uh, the boss is not here. And he wants to see me so bad, and he hear my voice, he says, that's you, Mr. Tinker. I say, yeah, come in. He says, come in. I say, don't let him cost you go to hell. She fell.
have some shame. I said, go to hell. Of course you go to hell. Tell people the truth. Okay, I mean, if he got to fire you for telling the truth, then you don't need to be on that job. Because guess what, sweetie? He can ask you to do some other things that is unethical. Because if he gets you to lie, he can get you to teeth. So John lost his head for telling the truth. And God is still looking for men and women who would speak out for him. Come on, we, we live in a time, and I, I see an evil here in our country. And I speak to it every now and again when I get a chance. And I, I look at our young people. And, and then I was talking in the shop the other day and I told them, we are responsible Amen. right here in Abaco. We got a whole community that we take advantage of simply because we are lawless and, 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 and deceitful. Yeah. We don't want to get them straight because if we get them straight, some of them wouldn't even look at us. Because they are proud people. Yeah. Fella told me, he said, you know, sitting here thinking, oh, in Haiti, we don't teeth. Say, that's a taboo. We kill you. <laughs> Say, we kill you. But here, we, we, we diminish them. Because why? We won't get them straight. And successive governments have played the game and passed the ball down the road. And I, I passed the mud one night and I saw the white man coming out with the black woman. Saw the policeman coming out with his own. I saw the immigration coming out with his own. Yeah. What? What? But we take advantage of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We work them for nothing. Yes, yeah. What you think, yeah. Yeah. You think yeah. God can get us for this? Yeah. Yeah. We work them for nothing. Because yeah. they can work. Because they're only trying to survive. Yeah. We got it right here. And, and I see them on TV tonight, but they find a village where they got church and bar. They knew that was there a long time. Yeah. 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 No, sir. The people living, so they got to survive. Yes, sir. Because we wouldn't do what we supposed to do. Uh -huh. We need to get them straight. And some of them smarter than some of our children. Amen. 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 Oh, my say, in graduation in Cooperstown this year, I said the little Asian woman had to bring a truck to carry him on to watch the girl. Baby. I died in big dumb behemoths, they will hear the name God. That's all they hear the name God. John Smith, nothing else. No English, no Why you couldn't tell me, boy, I got all this gray 
the same way. Amen. That's all right. I wouldn't die of one. Amen. I wouldn't preach. I, 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 I look at myself. I, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed. I know who I am. I, 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 I am confident in the fact that when he looked at me, big ass and big eye, big nose and crinkly hair and everything in time, he still said it was good. Watchman, watchman. What time is it? God is depending on his people to stand for righteousness. The Bible says, what is it that thou God require of us? But to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. What I saw. When we come to a time where the church, the church are so ineffective. We can't affect nobody. The government laughing at us. Because we were on crown line. I, I, I took the exam uh, uh, for the marriage thing. The woman in the thing tell me you passed with 75%. But the government didn't decide to sign it yet. But that's okay. They make it stop me, but they can't stop Almighty God. Amen. They can't stop God. And I've decided in my mind, I ain't a bad, and I ain't a ox. God is in control. You don't believe it, ox Nebuchadnezzar. One day he smelled his up, and he get up on the balcony, and he looked over the plains of Babylon, and said, it's not just the great Babylon that I've been. I've been. God says, for seven years, brother, you can eat grass like the horse. And he leave from right there and go on downstairs, and they didn't know him because his claws, his fingernail became like boy claws. Yeah. God don't fool around. Yeah. Watchman, watchman, what are the night? God is depending on us. God said he put us on the wall that we should not hold our peace. We got to talk. We got to say something. Yeah. Come on, the church is too silent. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Preachers and the ministers are fighting against each other. Yeah. And the devil is so cunning. Yeah. He know we get us fighting against each other. Ain't nothing to happen. Yeah. You know, if I fight Pastor Eddie, then Pastor Eddie and fight me, ain't nothing to happen. Yeah. We ain't the fellowship. We ain't the come together. And God bring us together. We all got to be in the body of Christ for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. But I tell you, you can't go to heaven unless you hear me. And revival faith mission, you can't get there unless you hear them here. God put us all in the body. Different offices. But guess what? The body functions so beautifully. Everybody in their own lead. But the problem with some of us, we were running other people lead. Get out of my lead, man. Get out of my lead. Run in your own lead. Watch God work. Run in your own lead. Whatever God called you to do, you do. Do it to the best of your ability. Do it with all your might. Yes, Jesus. 
oppression and they have used it against us. Position some of us who didn't deserve it. Position some of us who don't know where are we going. And I come to tell you, I've come to this position through many danger toils and smells. And I tell folks, I have never desired to be where I am today. Only a servant of the Most High God. Amen. But God works with different stuff, you know. He works with your heart, so. Yeah. Wherever he sends you, I, I, I say, God, I'll go. Yes. But I sit there and say, I won't be this. All I did is when they asked me to drive the bus, I was the best bus driver they ever had. Right. Come to tell someone, God knows exactly where you are. Yes. And God needs some more people that he can depend on. Yes, yes, yes. Too long we, we are undependable. We are undependable. God, the church can't depend on us. God can't depend on us. When pastor looking for us, we miss in an action. I, I remember a puzzle. Times I had five children small one time. I asked my wife the other day how we used to do it, honey. But we never missed the service. We had them with us to church. We've come to a time where we will come to church and leave their children at home. Time as you get back home, they ain't all kind of mess. The internet, the cable behind us, the worst thing ever hit this land. Destroying, wrecking havoc on our Christian families. But we can't get the children to church. My children know the rules. My house locked when it's church time. Amen. You can say over oh, join the meeting. That's real man talking up there. That's real. My house can be locked. Because we go into the house of God. I had my son living with me and he doing all kinds of fool. I tell him, boy, you got to go. You got to go. Yeah. You ain't want to serve my God. You want to drink my water and eat my bread. God, you buy for me. Preach. You ain't want to serve my God. You got to go. Preach. Too much. We love our children too much. Yes, sir. That's it. We put them before God so much. Yeah. Go ahead, man. My pastor, the baby got a fever. My baby couldn't have enough fever not to go to church. Yeah. <laughs> they were supposed to go to church. Yeah. Right. 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 We look at the hospital today and she look real good. Yeah. God's people can be piled up in that because yeah. they forget who is the God that he is. Yeah. God still says, I am the God. Yeah. Come on, watch when I come to tell you tonight. God is still healing today. Yeah. Still delivering, still set on free. Hallelujah. Just that you and I have to be serious about what we want to do for God. God told Jonah to go down to that great city in the Oh my God. Look at Cry you. against it. God's still looking for somebody to cry against the common God of the Bahamas. Amen. But we have come so far away. We all got our taxi plate. We all got our crown line, Mount Tabor estates, new covenant clothes, and all of this. And all of God's people who are supposed to stand up for God. We take a piece of land because the government give it to us. And that's why we can't tell the government nothing. Yeah. I was at a funeral the other day, and the former prime minister said, and he bowed his head. I said, yeah, you better bow. <laughs> now you better bow. I'm a man of God. Yes, I ain't got to beg. I ain't got to bow. I ain't got to do nothing. Yes, he tipped his head to me. I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have a nice day. Yes, sir. But some of us, we can't. The yeah. prime minister, we can't go nowhere in our name. No, we don't be begging. We don't be catching the crumbs of their table. Yes, yeah. When I 
ain't catching no cross. No. Come on, God is still able. Yes, yes. Thank you. You see, we still got to trust in God. Yes. Yes. God loves more than men a nation trust him. Yes, but we have sold our soul to the tourists for a couple of dollars. Yes. Well, we can't say that but them. They gave them because they ain't to come. So what if they don't come? Yes, I remember here in Abercrombie, there was only one sissy and everybody knew him. Yes, sir. I saw him the other day. He says, God has changed me. I say, hallelujah.
Jesus tell him, say, brother, sell all you got. Give to the poor. The Bible says he ran away sad. Mm. He had a lot. He didn't want, he didn't want to get rid of what, he didn't want to get rid of the things that was choking him and killing him. Yeah. Same thing with us. Some of our friends have come to tell you tonight, you got to cut them loose. Yes, sir. Anybody else watch right. the spaceship take off? Three minutes and 24 seconds into flight, there's two things that fly off of our flight called booster rockets. Yeah. They can't go into orbit, sweetie. They go into orbit, they can explode and cause a mess. And that's what some of you got some. Y'all ain't shared your booster rockets yet. Some people are keeping you back. Some of them, you, 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 you wear them. You, 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 they got you to a standstill. You can't fully commit to God. You can't give God all that is required of him. Some of us got our children still strapped on to us. We have to we have to orbit and we don't want them to go. Well, you got to shake them loose. And I told mine that the law says when you reach 18, Go ahead. You could vote and change the government. Daddy said you can get out of this house and you can, you can paddle your own canoe. Yeah. Now, I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll help you. I'll do anything for you. But I, you ain't my responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't coming. You ain't going to cost me. You ain't going to cost me. Preach, Pastor. I got my girls. They know what is expected of them from their father. My boys, the same thing. They know what is expected. They know the kind of life their father living. If anybody know you save it's your children. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. They know I ain't got time to fool around. I mean God. Because the saints of God have come to tell you that God is coming again. Whether you and I believe it or not, Getting ready to take my seat. He's coming again. Yes, yes. When he called the roll, calls your name. I ask you to give an account of your stewardship. What would you be able to say to him? Would you be able to say, God, I've done all that you've commanded me to do. Or will you be able to say, Lord, I, I do yet my work is unfinished. I still try to get some things done. But it'll be too late. You have now. Remember, anybody remember Lazarus? He died. The Bible said he opened his eyes. And the rich man, he also died. And he had problems where he was. He begged that somebody go back and tell his family. You and I are here tonight to tell people that God still cares. He still loves them. Oh, yeah. Things are tough in these times. And somebody needs to know that. Yeah, how you making it, they can make it too. Amen. You don't got to buy no number. Go no, ahead, Dad. That's right. Buy rice with that money. You don't have to buy no number. Amen. I put it in church. Amen. I trust God. Amen. Look to the hills. Because flowers, that's all. And God promise. Right. And listen to me. He cannot lie. Apostle Sands used the word immutable. Can't lie. Can't go back on his word. He has to keep his word. Why do you think even though some of us we do the worst things, he still wakes us up every morning. He keeps his word. He told David, I'll keep my word to a thousand generations. Some of us don't even know three generations. Yet. God still will keep his word because he promised Abraham, Isaac, and he, and he kept it on down to Jacob. And he's one, he wanted to keep it to you and I. He still kept his word. Jesus came after. So the Apostle Paul tell King Agrippa, you're all trying to try me and I ain't do nothing. And I was on the road to Damascus one day. Yeah. Suddenly there shone a light. Isn't God powerful? Yeah. Say, everybody see the light, but only him one hear the voice. Yeah. They ain't hear what happened. They saw the light, though. That's how God is. And he wants to do the same thing for you and I. Who would dare 
get to stand for him. Come on, you may be young, and that's the best time to stand. When you ain't gay, you yourself tangled up and mixed up in all the affairs of life. Could I tell you and be honest with you that life and sin is sweet. Right? I'm not going to lie to you, it's sweet. Why do you think so much people do it? You think it ain't sweet, eh? But it has a dangerous penalty. And then when you don't mess yourself up, That's why Moses say, I will run away. I rather suffer with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin. Oh, and Jesus. Egypt, and, 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 and boy, the Bible is something. Mm -hmm. Apostle, as I read through Egypt, was, was mentioned all through. Yeah. She was a sustainer. That's why she kept in so much hell today. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of wickedness going on in Egypt. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're paying the price right now. Don't yeah. worry about that. That's God working against Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you see some more trouble. Let them fool with Israel. That's right. Then you can see problems. Let them send something over to Israel. But God kept Egypt to sustain and keep the whole Middle East. And everybody who had trouble always went into Egypt because there were corn in Egypt. But Egypt has forgotten where God has brought up from. They go into Muslim. still looking for his people to stand to give him praise, honor, and glory. You may have done some things. You may have come short. Oh, God. But God is still calling you. Mm. That's the kind of God we serve. Because I come to confess that if God <coughs> was like he was in the old days, I, I don't know about y'all, but I would have been there. I don't know about y'all. Some of y'all put freaking Born that way and God was fixed for good. I, I would have been there. Because yeah. I failed him so many times. But what I love about him, he ain't like us. Now, me, fail me, I ain't want nothing to do with you. But God is still saying, Come, though your sins be a scar, I can make them white as snow. God looking for a praying people, a people that can call down fire, people. Come, listen to me. The Bible says greater works should we do, you know. Yeah. We ain't doing nothing. Yeah. The last of you, oh, it's somebody get healed. Yeah. 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 The last of you, see, and I ain't talking with Benny Hinn, them people laying stage in them beer chair. Yeah. It's all about people getting healed and getting up out of them beer chair. Yeah. 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 I, I actually, I was there on Clifford Park. My neighbor say, I can hear. He's still deaf today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> live right in the front of Brother Remin. Brother Remin is a little box, the mechanic. Yeah. Box going on, box. I'm healed. I can hear. He still got here on the side of your head today. <laughs> and he ain't nothing happened to God. Yeah. God's still healing. Yeah.
say no nothing. One, no, nothing. One, no one. That's what you call man of God. Yes, 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 he didn't yes. have an, uh, a Mercedes. He didn't have a Bentley. Yes. He was a man of God. Yes, yes. In fact, when he came to the town, they asked him, come peaceably or why are you come? Scared. They know God was moving. He said, no, we come peaceably. God's still looking for the same thing among us. Yes, come on, I've come to tell the people of God, it's about time we get up and stand up and rise up for God. Yes, that sir. army that the singers sing about tonight is within us. Yes, I feel the chains falling. I don't know what you yes, Too long we've been bound. Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, stand on the wall. Cry aloud. Isaiah cried until his end came. Jeremiah cried. Even from the dungeon, the word of the Lord came unto me. Some of us, when God waking us up in the morning, we turn over and we go back to sleep. God is calling us to be a different year in this land. They got everybody for the same, you know. They got all the church group as the same, you know. But there have to be a different among yes, us. Yes, yes. 